Welcome to Wallatopia. Thank you for being here as always. I'm sure many of you are familiar with Popoff Leather. They're in British Columbia, Canada. Now we have their five card bifold wallet with us today. And boy, does it smell good. It's not even out of the box. So let's get into it. All right, <clears throat> enough smelling for right now. Box presentation, it's really good. It provides obviously enough size for all their wallet products. That's so good, here we go. This is the five card. Let's see what we have here. Pop up leather. Oh, good. Care and instructions, those kinds of things. Very important with leather to understand it. And here it is. This is the uh, English tan color here. And you can see why it's the five card. One, two, three, four, five. Feels really good. Stitching obviously is excellent on this. Get a closer look. edging, burnishing, and the flexibility on this is great. It just feels like it's already broken in. Man, what a nice, nice wallet. Look at that pull-up. See that, my thumb? That's called pull-up. It's from the tannins and the oils and things that are used uh, in this veg tanned leather. Man, this is just beautiful. Now into the feature review of the Pop-Up 5 card wallet. Uh, As talked about uh, many, many times, I know, on this program, you know that I do like a quick access card slot. I think most people do. It's great to have something that you don't have to undo your wallet to get to uh, if you use something frequently. And in this case, that's what makes this fifth card slot uh, so important in this particular wallet is right here on the exterior we have a card slot. Wonderful. I think that's great. And another thing to note is there is no RFID. Yes, I know, no RFID in this wallet. It is just pure, lovely, golden leather. So if we move into the interior here, we can see that we have four card slots. One, two, three, four. And of course, these uh, interior card slots could be used for not only cards, but also cash folded to put in there. And, and just, you know, great flexibility in that. And that is a quick review of the features of the Pop-Off Leather 5-Card Wallet. Now for the card and cash insertion test. Now, minimus carry on this is five. Reasonable is probably eight. I had five in there and it seemed to be okay. Did get uh, kind of a little bit thick there. And I've got these two larger Euro notes, the 100 and the 15, and they didn't work. And you saw as I put in there the other Euros that, uh, of course, how you put them in matters. They go in this way, not this way, because well, they won't fit. And of course, US currency fit just fine. Yen, no, you'd have to fold it twice, just like the larger uh, Euro bills that we uh, had there. Now, the company recommends up to nine cards and up to 10 bills. I had five in there for the U.S., so just for uh, comparison's sake. But if you really wanted to stuff it, you could because it has that capability. It is a nice leather wallet. And yeah, oh man, it smells so good. Anyway, um, the, the point here is that uh, it, well, there is no point other than it just smells awesome. Oh man. Anyway, designed and manufactured in Canada, it's made from a full grain veg tan Horween Derby leather. And it comes in four colors, which you know, here you can see those on the screen there. Wonderful colors and options. It's hand sewn with tiger thread, lightly burnished and polished edges. And like I said, no RFID. I know, it's fantastic. Now, internal rear slot leather doesn't traverse all the way down. And let me kind of show you what I mean by that. All right, we take these out here so we can get into the wallet itself. I'll show you what I mean. So down here, you will notice that uh, the leather of this strip right here does not go all the way down. It there we go. You can see how it pulls out that piece right there. And what it does is it just makes the separation of cards in the rear easier to function from the ones that are in this front slot right here. This is not a deficiency. This is a great design 
consideration so that you don't have a full piece of leather there. And it can make it more bulky if you're not careful. Same kind of consideration decision that makers make uh, when they reduce the size, you know, the weight, the thickness of some internal leather components of wallets versus kind of the exterior piece. Lots of consideration that goes into that. In this case, that is one of those. And that's why we see here on the back this, you can see that faint outline right there. And that comes from that internal piece uh, making that card separation. Still keeps the card, cards in place. There's really no issue there. It's priced at $84. And from a usability perspective, kind of mentioned it's very soft already. Um, almost like it's broken in. I just really love it. Very good dimensions, by the way, from a usability for ease of insertion, extraction of cards. Uh, there's not a lot of wasted leather here by way of excess, which you can find in some wallets. Now it measures 4.17 by 2.9 by 0.4 and it weighs 44 grams. Started in 2013 by Ryan and Jill Popoff. Uh, Popoff leather is something that really has driven Ryan from the very beginning because he was trying to find the perfect wallet. That's what drives most makers, one degree or another, is is um, is doing that and then moving it from a hobby to really in Ryan's case a thriving business. They have a very infectious feeling of family, they enjoy the work they do every day and they really keep quality front and center with this. Now one item which I've mentioned many times in the past is their wallet gauntlet RFID card. Just get a card, put it in a wallet, don't get a wallet with RFID, we know it's a scam, just don't go that. But if you want something like that, get a card instead. Now they also have a large selection of other leather products from notebook covers, watch straps, keychains, EDC pouches as well as dog collars camera straps, even cord wraps, so much more. They have a 90 day exchange policy and a lifetime warranty on this product. So now let's get into the final score. For quality of five, price of three, features of three, usability of four and perception of five. That gives us a final score of 42 out of 50. Smash that like button if you haven't already and subscribe. I bet you never thought you'd watch a review on a wallet before and you just did and I'm sure you liked it. I hope you did. Anyway, hopefully you can't get enough of these. So we'll see you in the next review. Bye.